hit the link at the bottom of the screen to check out the exclusive show available on odds.com. It's only available on odds.com. Just hit the link to check it all out. Move on to 425 p.m. Kansas City Chiefs at New Orleans Saints. Mercedes-Benz Superdome, New Orleans, Louisiana. Let's see what I can get for a market here. I just moved off quickly. Sorry, let me get back on it. I had to do a quick uh, check of NCAA basketball. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. New Orleans opening up as four-point home dogs to the Chiefs. That has moved to three and a half. That's moved to three. It's moved all the way to three. Sorry, I said four. That's moved all the way to three. The three is juiced. This total sitting at 51 and a half. Chiefs coming off 33-27 win at Miami. Chiefs set a team record with a 10th straight road win in a row. Patrick Mahomes, 24-34, 393 yards, two touchdowns, three interceptions. First multi-interception game in more than two years. Travis Kelsey caught eight passes for 136 yards, one touchdown. They had difficulty moving the ball on the ground with their running backs. They dialed up wide receiver runs that worked, but Edwards Hilaire, 16 runs for 32 yards. Tackle Mike Remmers left the game in the second half. He's listed as questionable. Linebacker Damian Williams is listed as questionable. But other than that, the Chiefs are a very healthy squad going into this game. Saints coming off the surprise 24-21 loss to Philadelphia. Saints were 8-0 past two seasons without Drew Brees. That was their first loss. That loss dropped them to number two seed in the NFC behind Green Bay. They've already secured the playoff berth. They've already lost two Green Bay this year, so they lose the tiebreaker. Taysom Hill, 28-38, 291 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Kamara caught 11 or ran 11 times for 50 yards, but he also caught some passes from Taysom Hill. We are waiting for that to develop. It took four weeks. Michael Thomas caught eight passes for 84 yards. Nick Easton in concussion protocol. Bebsy, Chiefs, New Orleans, take it away. I mean, I, w- I want to say that the, the Saints will bounce back this week. But it, it's hard for me to think that Mahomes will struggle two weeks in a row. Mahomes threw more picks last week than he had in the entire season. So I feel like, listen, if Mahomes is the guy that we all think he is, then is he not just going to come out this week firing and torch? Is he not going to go off? After having a horrible performance this past week, three picks. Look, I know Miami's defense is very good, and and that pick from Xavier Howard was the thing of beauty. But are we not going to see Mahomes just light this defense up as good as the Saints' defense has been? I I just feel like I feel like this should be a, a hard uh, Chiefs look here. I'm starting to feel that way as well. Christian Castro says, whenever you can get KC at minus three, you take it. I feel like it's a double-up spot right now with KC, and, and and I hate to bet against the Saints and Sean Payton uh, coming off a loss to the Eagles because I feel like they're going to be charged up too. But Mahomes is – look, we all know he's great. And – to have when when great players have games like that, you expect them to bounce back. And I don't know. I I just feel like I feel like this is easy. Three hundred yards, three touchdowns, no picks for Mahomes this week. I don't think the wheels start coming off Patrick Mahomes. All the early public money's on KC. Why would it have gone from minus four to minus three? They want you to bet KC here. It looks that way. They're setting this up for us to hammer KC. Uh, Birdie and Dennis Garcia talking about how neither team wants to show anything to anybody. Yeah, but you also still – they're both still in contention for their top seed. I mean, the the 
The yeah. Chiefs currently have the top seed. Yeah, no doubt about it. David Sharp said, I think the books knew at four that they would get money both ways if they said it at four. I mean, this looks like a – I mean, don't you want to be sitting there on Sunday afternoon with the Chiefs at minus three in your pocket? I mean, is there a chance – is, I, I haven't looked at. Is there a chance that Breeze can come off the IR? I don't think so. He had multiple broken ribs. Yeah, Mister Funlong said. I just talked. He just talked himself into and Catch Action said he's not coming back. Um, Nate talks says he'll for sure. Just. Uh, it's funny. It's NFL is in in hawk. If this was NHL, I'd be like, "Come on, this is a gift for us. Let's take it." But with NFL, this is where the books make all their money. So I'm hesitant to snap up a gift when we know this is what has built those beautiful buildings. I, I think I'm going to move on on KC first half right now. Okay. And then I'm going to watch this line. And I it might be a double up come Sunday. But it's hard for me to believe that Casey can't beat the Saints with Taysom Hill. Yeah, it's it's I agree. I absolutely agree. Minus 2 and a half is all you're going to get even though you get minus 3 for the game. Yeah, I, I looked at it, and I didn't love it, but I'm still going to take it. All right, let's lock it in. Bebsy, minus two and a half. At minus 110. You know what I – um, that's at FanDuel. Is that FanDuel? You know what I'm going to do is uh, – I'm my, bet. my bet here is is based entirely on Mahomes' abysmal game this last week. It, it he still threw for 393 yards, but three picks. Yeah. He's thrown two all season up to this point. Capo saying Saints win by three. You know, look if this line doesn't budge at all by Sunday, I might I might take. KC first half and and uh, Saints full game. I agree with that. You know, I think I'm going to buy in on the Saints right now. At minus three. Is there no juice? Let me just. There's probably juice. Let me just see my book if there's juice. There's no juice. I'm going to buy in a minus three, which will allow me to buy off at a. There's going to be public money coming in on the Chiefs. We know that for sure. Yep. So I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna come in on the Chiefs minus three, and then I have the option to comfortably bet off of it. Uh, DX Father says KC defense is atrocious. That's a real issue. Uh, so that's that's how you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in on the Chiefs right now, and I may not put the two hundred on. I may put just like a hundred or hundred fifty, and then have the options. Pie guy says, uh, Casey hasn't covered in six weeks. This is a buy low spot. I think so too. And I also think people are, are counting on the saints to bounce back from their loss last week, which I, I do believe they can, but you know, several people are saying this in the chat and I agree. I, I don't think Taysom Hill can keep up with Pat Mahomes in a sprint. If this is what it turns out to be. And, yeah. and you know, I agree with teams not showing their hand at this stage in the season, but both of these teams can still win or lose uh, the home seed. So, all right, we are uh, in business. Yeah, he, <laughs> Dave Charts, right? It's probably going to be a fucking push. That's why I got two and a half. That can't be a push. 